The first step is to poke holes. So I've used the cards from our kit that have the little markings. In this first set, I've poked the holes right on the X's. The second set of poking the holes along that same line in between the marks. Note that I have poked the holes in between the marks and you'll note at the top there's a little space um, about an eighth of an inch from the top of the page and these holes are kind of triangulated from each other or if they are connected with thread they create a digit or a kind of um, zigzag this is a fairly wide um, stitch it's going to have kind of a lace pattern to it if they're closer about an eighth right about here an eighth of an inch it looks more like a suture stitch so it's just about what you want this stitch to look like I prefer a more narrow stitch to this wide one but for the sake of um, the demo I'm using the wide one because the cards were already marked also you're going to take your um, thread and figure out along this sewing edge about four or five times the length of this sewing edge that's how much thread you're going to need and uh, the closer your holes are to each other the more thread you need and also the wider your stitching is the more thread you need before you start stitching you want to thread your needle and tie a little knot at the end of the thread I've been trying to make sure that the knot gets on top of itself and so I simply hold it like this I hold the knot in one hand and the little tail in between my non-dominant hand or my two fingers of my non-dominant hand and with my other hand I'm just going to slide that loop right into the knot so it creates kind of a big knot there it's really on one side of that thread, like a little mushroom or something, mushroom knot. And um, this needs to be bigger than the eye of the needle. Then I'm going to start stitching. Notice that the holes on the card are poked on this side, the, the holes are um, nice and flat and on the other side they have a raised kind of pattern to them you always have want to have the nice flat ones be the front side and the raised pattern be the back so I'm going to start at this end I'm going to sorry about that big hand. I'm going to put the thread in, or the needle in this hole at the end and I'm gently, sometimes you get knots with this, I'm gently pulling it to right here. You don't want this thread to be pulled too tight that it pulls all the way through. Now I'm going to go over the back of my second card. And my second card has, again, the good holes are on the... Um, Inside, those are the two. I'm going to have my thread go around the top and into the center. I'm going to end up tightening this really tight at the end. So it goes through the middle, around the top, across the back into the center, and then I'm going to go in, no, I'm going to go around the top into the center around the top
into the center around the top into the center around the top into the center this little card where it gets hooked on the edge is very common okay if I hold it out like this very loosely it looks like this and I'm going to gently tighten this so you can get a feel for it you want to make sure that these cards match up and just tighten it with your needle you don't want to over tighten this or it won't move very well you want to leave about a thickness of the thread in between this space so this is a fairly I want to tighten it a little bit better it's easier to tighten it when you're totally done but this is a basically a good amount of thread in there this space right here that's a good amount of space you want to continue that pattern all the way down to the other end okay so I have can you continued all the way down the other side of the book and I have tightened up my threads uh, to end this I'm going to thread this underneath to the other side this is the good side so it looks like this I'm gonna flip this over and I really do my best to end this book have the knots on both sides and you can always flip this over so I moved that last stitch so that it was here and with my needle I have a handout on our resources page with my needle this is the little triangle that I'm splitting I'm making a point of a triangle and I want to split the thread with the tip of my needle and I want to split it evenly which is why I tried it twice there I'm going to pull that gently pull it so that you have good tension and again you want to make sure that that is underneath there and tight before you tie this knot that's your last opportunity to sort of tighten everything up this little point now becomes the anchor for your stitch and you're going to go underneath this with the needle under and you have a hole here and you're going to go down there if you are hitching your horse to a post this is like a this is an appropriate sti uh, stitch or knot for that this is a knot I use a lot so I pull that tight but not so tight it rips the paper that's the big thing I'm gonna do that again pull that tight then I snip my knot off about right here I have them both of the knots are about the same length now you see all of these little guys right here this raised this raised business with my bone folder I'm going to gently I will do this on the tabletop normally but I'm going to burnish these down so that they're closed. I'll do that for a second. I'll be right back. What that does when you seal the when you seal the holes like that, it kind of flattens it out on that side, but for sure it flattens it out on this side and closes those holes around the thread so it makes them tighter and more cohesive.